Sun Huang, the man who built NVIDIA, the world's most valuable company. But before he powered the AI revolution, before GPUs became the brain of modern computing, Jensen built something else. His way of thinking. And that way of thinking was shaped by what he read. So what are his favorite books? The ones that truly left an impact, the ones that shaped how he thinks, leads, and creates. At the Sequoia Capital AI Conference, Jensen shared the five authors who influenced his journey, from calculus to Christensen, from marketing to human history. These are the ideas that built his mind, and helped him build the world's most valuable company. Let's jump in. One of my favorite books was, was uh, the, your, you know, everybody's first calculus book. That's when you realize that math was, was um, in motion. Um, that was a good book. That's when I realized math was in motion. That one line explains NVIDIA. He sees systems, not formulas. Movement, not numbers. The idea that everything, logic, code, computing, is dynamic. That's how he built GPUs and accelerated computing. By seeing math come alive. Top three learnings from calculus are, everything, from technology to business, evolves dynamically. Systems thinking matters more than snapshots. Progress is built on motion, and motion is built on math. All of, all of Clay's books, Christensen's books, and he's passed, but, but good friend, uh, all of his books were great. Christensen taught how great companies fail. Not because they're wrong, but because they're too right for too long. Jensen lived it. While Intel ruled CPUs, he bet everything on GPUs, and changed the world of computing. The Christensen Bookshelf, The Innovator's Dilemma, The Innovator's Solution, Disrupting Class, The Innovator's DNA, how will you measure your life? Competing against luck, each one shaped how Jensen built and rebuilt NVIDIA. Top 3 Learnings Great companies fail when they stop disrupting themselves. Innovation is both mindset and method, built on curiosity and purpose. True success comes from empathy, understanding people, not just markets. All of Christensen's books, I read them all. Al, Al Ray's positioning book, really good book, if you haven't had a chance. That book teaches the power of perception, and NVIDIA is built on it. They don't sell hardware, they sell intelligence infrastructure. They didn't build chips, they built a movement. Positioning is how you move from product to purpose. Top three learnings, win in the mind, not the market. Own one word, not every word. Perception is more powerful than performance. Clarity wins. People must instantly know what you stand for. Uh, of course, you know, Sapien's always good. Because to build AI that understands the world, you first need to understand humanity. Sapiens explores how imagination built civilization, and that's exactly what AI now mirrors. Machines that create, reason, and imagine. Top 3 Learnings Storytelling is the foundation of human progress. Intelligence grows through shared imagination, from tribes to technology. The next leap in evolution is technological, not biological. Uh, on Crossing the Chasm, that's a good book. It's the blueprint for taking disruptive tech mainstream. And NVIDIA did it perfectly from gamers to data centers, from coders to governments. They didn't just cross the chasm, they built the bridge others now use. Top 3 Learnings Innovation dies without adoption, scaling is everything. Early adopters love novelty, the mainstream demands reliability. The true genius of innovation lies in bridging that gap, the chasm between idea and impact. You put it all together, you see a clear theme, the mindset that built NVIDIA. A calculus textbook that taught him motion. A Harvard professor who taught him disruption. A marketing genius who taught him perception. A historian who explained humanity. And a strategist who showed him how to cross the chasm from idea to impact. That's Jensen Huang's real reading list, not for school, but for life.